गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन माय नेम इज प्रदीप तिवाड़े आई एम फ्रॉम आकाश फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड माय प्रोजेक्ट इज पोर्टल फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन आई गिव जस्ट टू मिनट विद इन टू मिनट आई विल डिस्क्राइब ऑल ओवर माय प्रोजेक्ट्स ओके सो अवर एम इज टू डिजाइन सी एम एस बेस्ड पोर्टल मीन्स कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम बेस्ड पोर्टल फॉर द इजी लर्निंग फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन दिस पोर्टल मेक इजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर द अंडरस्टैंड स्टूडेंट एंड टीचर for this process we this way that we go to uh, we first identify the teacher by ias uh, faculty from iit faculty we took or uh, retired faculty from them we took the content we introduce her to the akash as a delivery medium for the teaching and learning this content need to be uh, generated in open source in our pro in our given portal we have three person one is contributor contributor is, is a faculty who uh, give the content to our website or our portal second is a reviewer reviewer is a expert person in that field if uh, we design some mathematical topic for our uh, portal then in that topic one person is expert that person we take as a reviewer and third is reviewer uh, reviewer means student student like child student for our school education platform for uh, content creator to convert and upload based on standard specification and enforced by the portal means we have to some specify the content uh, like pdf mp4 or some is commonly used up, uh, um, format that, uh, that can be used by the fact, uh, student so can they easily understand uh, if some topic shown by the video is easy to understand rather than the pdf or some uh, textual format so we uh, design that topic in video format or some topic easy to understand pdf format or some directly uh, teaching to student so we design that topic in pdf format so how we specify our roles in our project is that we first classify the content based on the subject topic and lesson and contributor contributor i already explained what is who is a contributor contributor can uh, register and choose the topic for contributing content and reviewers can review the content and uh, the administrator is the only duty is that once the content is uh, verified by the reviewer reviewer means expert person then that content will be uploaded on the our portal and that content can be seen by the all student or faculty or uh, other person so can if if one college or one school is excellent in their teaching so same pattern is apply for the village also because in village uh, faculty or teacher is not so qualified or even don't don't know how to teach to student so we Uh, in this uh, portal we specify that this all uh, content will be directly applied to the village student so in our uh, this portal we can use already been uh, inbuilt website for our iit project oscar uh, or we can design a similar website to this project so how our uh, portal is work user can directly go to home page user means anything contributor or normal user or reviewer okay so reviewer uh, user can directly to home page in home page we give all information about the website how we do our works how we take content what to specify all information on the web page and there is a login for uh, there is a two login for contributor uh, one login and reviewer is one another login then uh, if contributor upload his content on the our portal then we directly uh, cannot show to all user because it's may be possible that content is uh, wrong or some false or some year gaps uh, or some pulse in that uh, content so we verify this content by the uh, expert person by our reviewer and once the content is verified then that content directly available to our portal and this portal uh, this content can be directly downloaded or, or we can uh, read that content on the given portal on our contacts we uh, provide all contact our about our uh, contributor or our reviewer thank you uh, hello everyone i am pankaj patil i am working in akash school pilot project team as a project engineer so i will be here presenting about group and pair based student evaluation system introduction uh, currently student evaluation systems used in school are comprises of only teacher as a evaluator uh, so students only think that teacher is a, my mentor and he is only uh, person who is teaching me they don't think that we learn from friends or other people so intention to propose this project is to make them feel or realize that they can learn from friends or they can learn in group also motivation students like to group in work 
and also they enjoy the learning in the group users of the system Mo teacher will be as a monitor in this system and students are participant different models and users so the whole system will be divided in five models group formation quiz creation schedule activity activities and reports so what is a activity actually um, uh, the whole uh, you can say core part of this system is activity and the activities are of three types intergroup quiz intergroup assignment evaluation and intra group assignment evaluation so whole idea is that say class comprises of 50 students so we have to divide the class in groups so that number of students in a group will be decided by teacher and in which group to join that is choice of students and the students can be a uh, member of different group or different subjects quiz creation so uh, here every student should have right to create a quiz which is accessible to only the students who has created and also that should be reviewed by teacher so that if any uh, uh, improper question is there then student teacher should be able to delete it schedule activity uh, teacher should be able to schedule activity time limit for each uh, quiz and also teacher should be able to uh, create a logic say 10 groups are participating in this activity then teacher should be able to set logic like say group 1 will evaluate 4 groups and he will mention which 4 groups similarly other groups who will evaluate other groups reports system should generate report based on data recorded of all activities system should give group wise and peer based performance of students thank you Hello, uh, so I'm Charu Chaudhary and I'll give you a brief introduction of, of uh, Virtual Laboratory. So what exactly is Virtual Lab? It is basically an online simulation of a physical laboratory in which uh, students perform normal experiments in physics, chemistry, etc. Uh, so uh, we've proposed to have an on, uh, online web access as well as an Android ap application which gives uh, uh, a simulation of such things. Why are virtual labs required? So um, a lot of schools in rural as well as urban areas of Mumbai and basically the whole of India uh, lack a lot of resources and they are not able to provide the necessary equipments in order to provide the students to perform the particular experiments properly. Uh, so this can be a handy substitute for a physical lab. And even in the schools where there is a proper facility available for such uh, exercising of the experiments, the teachers can use this technology to give a demonstration of the experiment in order to give a brief idea of the experiment to the students. Uh, students can also use this in order to revise and practice the experiments. So basically this is a boon for low budget rural schools. The components. Uh, we've proposed to provide a detailed theory about the experiment and the procedure of the experiments along with animated demonstrations and after that the students are expected to perform the experiments online using interactive learning and experience. Uh, there are uh, quiz available and uh, links should be provided for external reference materials. Uh, this is an example of a similar uh, simulation that has been made by CDAC. Uh, as can be seen, there are different tabs on the top which give the links to the various things that I just talked about. The features of this application, all experiments are in one place, so the students do not really have to go and search for each and everything separately. Uh, they can search for the experiments uh, using an index hierarchy. Uh, and also there is one uh, very useful uh, feature here which allows the students to save the experiments that they want in the internal storage of Android uh, app, tablet, etc. Thank you.